Hello, I'm Peter Von Eason from Kootenai Outdoor Adventures. Today we got a special video for you. Uh, we're going to skin this deer with an air compressor. You heard it right. We're going to skin it with an air compressor. Okay, what we got? We got our we have our air compressor hose here. A uh, couple of things I've seen online so far. I've seen a couple things that I think are mistakes, and that's to pre-cut a whole bunch of holes in this deer already. Uh, the best way that I've seen it done so far is to actually use the kill wound whether it's with a bow or whether it's from the bullet and use that existing hole uh, jam this end in underneath there and the fewer holes that you have the better because the air won't leak out of there uh, once it's blown up and expanded we'll see where the skin is stretched away from everything and uh, then we can if we need to insert another hole somewhere then we can uh, but the less less the better Another bonus for doing it this way, if you have a bear and you want to make a nice bear rug, uh, the less cutting that you do, the better. You'll make less holes in it by accident and then the taxidermist won't be spending a lot of extra time sewing up all those, all those mistakes. Uh, so this is actually a really good way to do a bear. Still have to do a little nicking here and there for little pieces that didn't separate, but for the most part, it'll all be separated. Let's give this a shot. Oh, look at that. You can see it expanded right up there so we know that it's separated. I'm just going to go in the other direction here. Okay, we saw it all balloon up here, so we know a lot of this is already separated. Uh, there was a little piece in the back here that didn't separate, so I'm going to just pop a little hole in the back end here. Uh, I'm going to stick it in, it should balloon out some of the back side. And then we're going to roll this over, and we're going to do it again on the other side. There's a little bit of the neck that didn't look like it gets done, but I'm going to try to minimize the holes. So I'll wait till we're done the other side and see if it's necessary. Okay, we flipped it to the other side here, so I'm hoping the rest of this neck and everything gets done. If not, I'll put a little insertion up here by the neck and we'll blow it up again and that should finish it off. Uh, then we'll go hang it up and we'll ring it and we'll see if we can't just pull most of the hide off without having to use our knives. Might have to do a little, uh, a little nicking here and there, but uh, it should be pretty clean. So as you can see, we just had to add a couple extra little holes and I think we were able to pretty much get everything separated on here. Um, we're gonna take it to the garage now, hang it up and we're gonna see how good of a job this actually did. Hello again, we've got the deer hanging now. Uh, we skinned off the scent glands on the back, back legs and we did get the legs just started so we have something to grab onto. But we're gonna find out how much skin is actually or how much hide is actually attached to the body still. Like I said, we'll still have to nick it here and there, uh, but we've got some good handles here, so we'll just see. We'll probably have to cut the tail off, um, but we'll see what happens here. Thank you. 
All right, so it actually went pretty well. Uh, one thing we found, could have probably used another hole or so right around the neck. Uh, it had a few problems there, but it would have just taken a little more air to go in there. Um, front shoulders, more or less, just right around the, uh, the bottom of the legs there. That was about the only problem there, otherwise it uh, stripped off pretty easy. So, I don't know, I've got another video up on how to skin a deer at the golf ball. That way I give kind of an A+. Plus. I give this a B. It's pretty fun to do and I recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and leave some comments in the bottom and see if there's any other ways you'd like me to try to skin a deer or a bear or anything else. Thank you very much. Bye.